Hello everyone, I'm Miles Bear now. I'm here with Brandon Marcello and Michael Nyslick. We're with Auburn Undercover at auburnundercover.com. We just got a press conference with both coaches for the game this weekend. We talked to Kirby Smart and Gus Malzahn. Um, we didn't want to give too much away per usual, but everyone's excited to be here. <laughs> well, no, wait a minute. So they had a photo op. Kirby Smart went with no smile. Did he not? I didn't even know. Yeah, no, Kirby I don't think anyone smiled. No smile. Gus went with sort of a weird smirk. Do you do you think those were conscious choices, or do you think oh, yeah. that's their default uh, picture face, or what, what do you think about? Oh, I think it's. I think it was. I think it was intentional. I think it was intentional. It was yeah. thought of. You think I he thought that I don't, I don't want to go with the full smile, but I want to be kind of like look confident, so I'm gonna go with the smirk. <laughs> and then Kirby's like, I don't like being here with him, so I'm gonna go with the non-smiles. Yeah. You think that was specific? Kirby likes himself. You gotta think about it. You got like this is really all I'm concerned about today. Because they didn't shake the press hands. conferences revealed nothing. Yeah. So we need to analyze this for I think for yeah. 25 minutes. The only interesting thing was that uh, Kirby Smart and Gus both uh, confirmed that during the postgame handshake November 11th when Auburn beat uh, Georgia 40 to 17, Gus went up to the postgame handshake line and said, uh, "This is what Gus says." He said, "Hope to see you." at the SEC Championship. Word was he oh. just said, we'll see you in three weeks at the SEC Championship. <laughs> and uh, the rumor was he also said, tell Nick Saban I said that. Uh, but uh, Kirby, think Smart, it's lame that Kirby Smart said, I, I, it was something like that. No, he said that was pretty much it. Yeah. And then Gus was like, well, I said, I hope. Do you think it was lame that Gus just didn't just say, for hope. Yeah, you just said, you should have owned it? Yeah. yeah, but it's Gus Malzahn. He's going to hem and haw about everything. Like, well, actually, I said, I kind of think I might see you maybe later. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, no, I think that was like. I think he straight up told him. We'll see. Really in three fierce weeks. of him, and he should have stuck to Yeah, his no, I think on that that's one. clearly what he said. Could Kirby Smart yeah. said that's what he said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, also, Gus said we beat the dog crap out of him after that game. I he thought was that very was the energized. initial. I thought that was what. The, I thought when the reporter asked, I thought he was going to be like, "Can you confirm that Gus said we're going to beat the dog crap out of you?" Kirby was like, "I have no idea." And I was like, "Well, oh, that's going to be fun." Well, uh, that's on film. Yeah. And Kirby doesn't have a problem with it because he no. actually said, well, they did. Yeah, so. uh, but the, certainly the players are using his motivation. Now, carry on Johnson. He's a football player. Yes. Auburn uh, uh, counts him as a player on their roster. Uh, they don't know if he's going to play. They said, again, he's going to be a game-time decision. I was told last night uh, on our message, I put it on our message board for VIP subscribers, that it quote from someone who would know it's, quote, not looking good. Uh, what that means, I don't know. The oh, conversation could, was very brief. The tenor of Gus Malzahn's sort of optimism has decreased since Monday and Tuesday, and, well, Sunday. Um, cause they said carry on? Yeah. Because um, right, as of right now, the plan is to have him dress, watch him in warm-ups and see what he's able to do, uh, which is a lot different than, you know, we think he's going to be able to go or we think we're going to be able to get something out of him. Um, big question mark i think about oh, it and and he did say what was interesting he used the phrase we're going to go by committee uh if he can't go mm. uh, which was different than saying cam martin and the other guys uh so that was interesting as well just about that their plan uh might not be fall to one guy um cam martin's healthy somebody's asking about his status he's healthy but uh replacing carrion might not fall to his feet or shoulders or knees or whatever but uh It'll be, it'll, be, yeah, it'll be uh, three guys, four guys maybe with Chandler Cox mixed in with blocking yeah. and stuff. And so. Kirby kind of said what we said earlier this week. You know, Auburn's got a way of doing the running game without running the ball with the quick screens and everything. And he said, I'm sure, you know, Gus has got something figured out. Uh, I asked Gus Malzahn, he go, listen, every time you've lost a star player near the end of a season, your offense has really struggled. What makes people believe or you believe that that's going to be different in this game if Kerryon Johnson's not available? And he said this year is different because he thinks everybody can see it. They have more depth. The problem with that statement is he's got depth. Sure, people, actual human bodies behind Cam Johnson, but they haven't played. Uh, and, well, Cam but, Martin, and the top those running back behind games, him. They've not been able to kind of figure out the correct combination, too. Yeah, I mean, Cam Martin's had nine, averaging nine snaps a game. Uh, he's not having nine carries a game, but he's totally capable. We saw what he did against Texas a and when he got extended action. I mean, he was running through them yeah. like uh, hot butter. Hot butter? A uh, knife through that's hot weird. butter. Uh, on the other side of it, Kirby Smart said he expects Kerryon to play uh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, any opponent, opposing coach has, has to prepare to, that way. But, uh, 
thought that was just interesting that we expect him back there. Why would we expect anybody else? So, um, it's weird that uh, what well, kind of stinks that their best player might not play. Yeah, I mean, you would want to you want to see full strength Auburn against full strength Georgia, right? Especially this is like, and I was talking to a Georgia beat writer earlier. You know, this isn't like Georgia if Nick Chubb went down because they have Sonny Michelle and three other guys behind him that are very good. Auburn's got this would talented have been, players, I mean, but they're not proven. If Cam Petway was here 100% and doing what he was doing last year, I think we're 2,000 yard rushers, you wouldn't, wouldn't feel this way. But what Carrion's done, and we've talked about his imprint on the offense greater than just carrying the ball. It's, right. It's like 75% of what, they're do, what they do and their, fo- their focus and blocking and this and that. Um, and just the coaches are co- so comfortable with what they could get from him. And, uh, you know, I asked if the Wildcat depend- package is kind of dependent on him since they don't really run it otherwise. And Gus said, well, I'm not going to give it away. But the more point was, do are they even comfortable giving the, that bulk of plays other than one or two snaps to somebody else? Right. Because I don't know if they are. Yeah. A lot of people saying we're being negative. James says I'm always negative. Picked Auburn in this game. Uh, be, uh, uh, it's not negative. I mean, we feel bad. Just, I, look, uh, Carrion's a competitor. He's a, he's a he's a uh, always great with the media. Fun to talk to. Uh, good kids. Got a good but, head but on his the, shoulders. The the, the 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 issue with all this is we just haven't seen Auburn's other running backs a lot yeah. this season, and so there's a big question mark there. Sure. That's not to say Cam Art can't come in and all of a sudden he's rushing for 180 yards or something like that crazy because. We just don't know. That's the problem. We don't know. So usually when you don't, well, we don't know even about know a player. The, we don't even know the injury. So it's not like, can right. he give it a go? He might not be allowed to give it a go if it's something that could risk. You know, trainer says no, trainer says no. Well, that and, you know, carry on's got to think about his future. So. Right, but if it's an injury that's serious enough where the trainer says you don't even get a choice. Right, yeah. You know, it's, Gus said he's going to try his hardest, but we don't even know if that's going to be his, his op, you know, his option to be able to. I know a lot of people were saying last night he was at a sorority party, so that must mean he's going to play. I'm going to tell you something. I, I, <laughs> carry on. That, does, that doesn't mean anything. Was was a sorority party like a football game? Do you have to put pads was on a, and well, run? I thought you were going, was it a full contact sorority party? Um, oh, good boy. Good. But, yeah, no, it's, uh, it'll be a shame if the Auburn, you know, they fought so hard to stay healthy with those two positions this year. And uh, this is the time. They get through that huge stretch, and then carry on uh, could be unable to go. So that's that's rough. Game time decision, guys. I just don't know. Do you guys have questions, though? I'm gonna dress out for the game, see if I report or not. Yeah, report on the game. I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> there we go. I'll be. Well, in the press how, uh, here's a question. How do you think Gus handled the uh, oblig- uh, obligatory Arkansas question? How do you think he did? <laughs> Didn't take long on that so one. Somebody showed me. All right. <laughs> the reporter who asked it, uh, Gus does not necessarily like all the time. And so as soon as he started asking it, Gus's face went, Whoa. and I've seen a picture of the moment the person's asking the question, and it's glorious. I mean, Gus's <laughs> face is just, just But it wasn't asked. He wasn't asking, was he going to Arkansas? Gus just wasn't listening to the question. He asked, um... Did he present that con? Because the rumor was a uh, report out there. I'm not sure who was it. Football uh, scoop. Football scoop. Uh, that Gus's people had presented a package of uh, contract extension to Auburn President Stephen Lee. So the question was, did your people do that? And he just said, I'm the coach of Auburn. <laughs> he had, everything he said was factually true. They are in the but SEC But I do you think he handled that today, uh, considering the question even wasn't, are you going to Arkansas? Well, I think or what the temperature was in Arkansas? Mentioned. Arkansas was mentioned because he said your friend Wally yes. Hall wrote a column asking, begging you to come yeah, back. I'm not sure what the preference is. I like Wally. I worked for Wally. Wally was my boss for a time. Him and Gus are not best friends. But how do you think he? How, you have an answer. How do you think he uh, handled? He didn't handle it well. And in, but why should he? To be quite honest, but none of this is going to be settled till the early to mid next week anyway. Because he's going to sit there and wait till Arkansas offers money and sees what sees what happens and. Uh, take it to Auburn and go, hey, this is what's going on. I'm going to be their coach if you don't uh, do this. It, it, it could be a very interesting uh, 48 hours or 72 hours. Um, they lose this game. Uh, I, th- I think I think, uh, there's, there's, a chance he, there's a chance he leaves. There's a chance he leaves. So that he would not be the coach of Auburn. 
That 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 would be true. But uh, as uh, of today, though, I don't think he wants to leave all. Doesn't sound like it. I don't think he wants to leave all. What resistance to the leaving questions? Yeah, but if Auburn doesn't step up, because listen, they have a lame duck AD. They have a president who's probably going to have to handle all he's this. Even though they're emailing still, students yeah. about legal matters. And the president says it's going to be up to Jay to do all this discussion, so which is, is so weird. Strange. Which is not, I don't think, I don't believe it's true. true. Yeah. It, it's, uh, if they don't get their ducks in a row, and then Arkansas comes with a very complete package, right. and Auburn had lost this game against Georgia, Gus will have to sit there and seriously think about it. I think he's going to think about it anyway. They lose, and he's asked, do you think he flips the table up at the press conference? All I know is I'm not sitting next to that reporter because I know who's going to ask it. And uh, Anyway, I, I, anyway, that's if Auburn loses. Getting a little ahead of ourselves Dome there, is guys. closed. Dome, dome is closed. It takes two hours to open. The Georgia Dome is open, though. It takes two hours? Yes. The Georgia Dome is open. Is there any... Uh... <laughs> that one's... Wide they had the Georgia Dome was wide open. I actually walked into it today on accident. <laughs> uh, so, it, what's the forecast tomorrow? There's two percent chance of rain. Two. Whoa, like four percent at two a.m. So watch out, guys. <laughs> so maybe they'll open those the, party goers. So will they open the dome tomorrow? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. It's supposed to be really overcast. Dang it's cold. It's the south. They're cold. After. Yeah, I'm cold. It's cold in here. Bring it's it back. It's isn't it? I thought it would be warm. It's not a vacant lot. It's two sides of the Georgia Dome that are sort of still standing. And a lot of well Yeah, it's kind of creepy looking. It's pretty cool. Uh, looks like a superhero battle um, happened there. I heard yeah. traffic is starting to pick up, so might be time to go, guys. A lot of, a lot of Georgia fans. We are oh. Justin and Lauren. You all are very good. I don't know who you're referring to, <laughs> um, but they don't work for 24-7, so... <laughs> They're, wrong, they're never here. Wrong channel. Us. They're never here with us. Where's Jim Cantori? <laughs> Where's Tebow at? Well, we are in Atlanta. Why do you click on something with, without them and then ask where they are? You know where they're not. They're not here. It seems sort of silly. It seems like a mean-spirited question. Uh, yeah. Any questions? Questions. That's a weird. That's very weird. <laughs> Someone likes to pretend they're a carrot. In the ground, I don't understand. That's a little right. weird. We talked to Tim Tebow and uh, Marcus Spears earlier. We did. Tim mm-hmm. Tebow. It'll be up on YouTube. Tim Tebow believes uh, Jared Stenham is playing like a Heisman Trophy uh, candidate right just now. Just the trophy, not, not just the trophy, just, just standing there. But obviously, he's not going to be there. But he said if he's playing like this all season, he'd be a candidate. I agree with that. I mean, hey, uh, if you're throwing 12 touchdowns, one interception, an SEC play, and completing. 67% of his passes in against the SEC opponents, and then you win an SEC championship? Yeah, certainly. And you're running for like 40, 50, 30 yards a game like he, he was against the Iron Bowl? 30, 40, 50? Well, I mean, he's not going to run for 50, 30, 50 every game. He's going to run like 30, 20. Yeah. You know what I mean. Extend drives. Crowd split. I'd say 75, 25. That's my guess. Ooh, really that Probably. bad? Yeah, because the tickets were sold out by the time Auburn fans had yeah. to even get Each them. school gets like 16300 Georgia gobbled all those up, of course, and then they've been gobbling up tickets so for the So they've had three month. weeks and the prices were lower because everybody thought Alabama was going. So expensive. Uh, yeah, Auburn will be in the parking lot. Cheering us on. Yeah. Um, questions? Oh, will Nate Craig Myers be a big part of the offense tomorrow? They've been getting more involved the last couple of weeks, few weeks. That week. peekaboo. Uh, against uh, Georgia, they threw the ball to them. No, oh, I think it was the Iron Bowl, wasn't it? And then the Iron Bowl, of course, two times. Yeah. Dropped one and caught it. Got another. Uh, probably. We'll see. Score what, predictions what are, are on uh, uh, Auburn Undercover. What were our score com. predictions? I don't know. I don't remember. Check it out. I think mine was like 28 24, maybe. Do we know what the Somewhere. spread is? Auburn. Spread has dropped to two in favor of Auburn. It was three, then two and a half, now it's two. Watch out. Yeah, I would not be surprised. How's the food? Uh, there were sandwiches uh, for lunch, but that was weird. I miss the is there's no drinks anywhere right now. No water, no pop, no nothing. No pop? That's <laughs> really bad. Freaking Yankee. Where are you? And, oh, my uh, God. Pop. And, uh, no sodi pop. 
went to the and, soda fountain. Well, and so the SEC is an exclusive agreement with Dr. Pepper, which I think is so weird. What? Yeah, so. Dr. Pepper Why are we getting Dr. in Pepper the Mercedes-Benz Stadium? Well, but the other parts of the stadium will have Coke, but like in media rooms, it'll only be Dr. Pepper. Do we get free Mercedes-Benz's? Dude, Benzes? this no, is the Coca-Cola There city. is one in that, in this little. Did you see the parking lot across the street where if you have a Mercedes-Benz, you get free parking? No, I did not see that. That's pretty cool. That's so, ballin'. if you're rich as hell, you're rich sad. Maybe, Miles, you could give people like a little tour. I would, I would love to give people a little tour. See, look at that. Do yeah, I get to um? Do we get to wander into the the locker rooms? Is that no, probably thing? not? No. We could probably wander up there, from the park down here. But yeah, I'm gonna have lots of fun. We videos found the on refrigeration YouTube, stations. Today. They're pretty nice. Beer, well, by, no by the beer. way, we're on Auburn sideline. I don't is know if you guys know. Oh, this are this we? is Auburn sideline. Where dam? Uh, oh, can I say that? We can Where say you dam. Dam. <laughs> uh, this is Auburn sideline. Which side are we on? Um, I don't even know what side to say this is. Uh, this is Auburn's side. <laughs> uh, this is like the home side, right? Yes, home side. Auburn's the home team. Auburn practices yeah. at... Uh, Great question. I can't remember. 4.30? 4? Uh, Auburn's sideline will be the sideline that's visible facing the TV cameras, if that makes sense. So if... If you look closely on TV during the play-by-play, -play, you'll see Gus Malzahn's face on the sidelines instead of his back, like at home at uh, Auburn. Oh, it's flip-flop.